to the Cook Moo Licker Show! Tonight we are doing Galliano! Bunch of Italian words I can't read. It's a lemon liqueur. It comes in at 42.3% alcohol by volume. It's a very specific alcohol. Uh, yeah, we uh, picked this up at a local liquor store just on a whim. Just trying new shit. And it was in a crazy ass, tall ass bottle. Look at this fucking thing. I just remember my parents having one of those bottles, like, they kept around. There was nothing ever in it. Like, I don't even know if they drank it. They just... Oops. They just had the bottle because it was cool. This is less of a liquor and more of a murder weapon, really. Uh, it's huge. So, let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does have fucking weird uh, chartreuse -y. Yeah, it's got some spices yeah, in there. Aromas. You can smell... It's citrus of some sort. It must be a lemon. Uh, it's kind of like a lemon uh, Jägermeister. That's, yeah, it's pretty. Less spicy than Jägermeister, let's be honest, but it, it has a sweetness to it. It's almost got like a bitters smell to it, too. Like, it's going to make yeah. your mouth go a little numb. Yama. Yeah, ooh. I ooh. Lemon licorice. What the fuck? Yeah, lemon licorice. Black licorice with lemon. Uh, I don't actually mind that mix because licorice can only be improved <laughs> by other flavors. So adding that citrus in there really helps it out a lot. Plus, it's really syrupy. Yeah, that is it's weird. pretty fucking sweet uh, tasting, which is... You know what? It's very hard to make a liquor at 43% taste that sweet and syrupy. So... I don't even, I don't know what process they're using over there, but usually when something's that syrupy, it drops in ABV quickly. Good job? Yeah. <laughs> well done, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't take well, after you let it linger a while, you can feel the burn. Yeah. But at first it's not quite that burny. It's more like a uh, like a fireball, I guess, and it's syrupiness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? The Coming with all that sweetness and the spiciness, it reminds me of uh, Drambuie. A little bit. A little bit less honey, but, yeah. but it's got something in that direction. I would agree with... Yeah, it does. It's... it's Yeah. I'm trying to pick out the herb that... Mm -hmm. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. It does it does lend itself more towards Drambuie than like a chartreuse and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Especially on the thickness of the, the alcohol. Yeah, but you are reminded of chartreuse as well. All right. It's weird how quickly the uh, the licorice hits you, and then it kind of mellows out, and then you get a little bit of that kind of citrusy mm -hmm. other flavor, and then as the alcohol starts to kind of go down your chest, you can kind of start tasting the other herbs. Yeah, for sure. To me, it's like, yeah, that licorice comes out first, like you're saying, and to me, like, like that hits, and you're like, Ugh, I don't know, and then everything else happens, you're like, you know yeah. what? I kind of like it. Where else, why don't you show us what you're making today? Okie dokie! Tonight we are making the Golden Dream. One part Galliano, one part Contra or Orange Liqueur, one part orange juice, a certain amount of whipped cream, which I cannot recall. Half yeah, part. Spill it all over the place. There you have it. A very messy Golden Dream. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little bit more like a wet dream now. <laughs> Here we are with the uh, golden uh, dream, as they call it on the interwebs. I was going to call it a golden shower. <laughs> <laughs> the golden shower! It's just full of innuendo, yeah, what we've it's discovered. Not, it's not good. Uh, but it looked good because basically creamsicle is what we're going yeah, for. Yeah, it smells here. fucking delicious. Oh my god, yeah, it does. And y yeah, after tasting the Galliano, I can totally see how this could work really well. So let's try it out. Oh, man. Oh, that is fucking divine. <sighs> if you like drinking creamy liqueur-style uh, mixed drinks, and you're also a fan of orange anything, like orange ju like if you I ground up ice, orange Julius if you right ground here. up ice and put that in here, it, it, orange Julius right across the board, and it would be fantastic. An alcoholic orange Julius. And this is already, it, it tastes like it. It's creamy. 
It's orangey. Yeah. It's the, the texture's not quite there. Yeah, but, it's got uh, a nice. It's you can feel the burn still because that thing is fucking forty three percent instead of the like a liqueur. Yeah, and then it's got the contrail on top of it. So contra, I mean, yeah, plenty of fucking alcohol. In oh there. man, it's all the flavors in there work so well together. Mmm, that's fucking delicious. Oh, it is. You're not going to have fun puking this up later. <laughs> but you're going to have fun drinking it. You're going to have a lot of fun drinking it. It's really good. Really good. Oh, man. Yeah, I could I could see this being a, the end of somebody's night. Like, mm -hmm. drink too many of these and just... Blah, everywhere. It'd be so easy to do, too. This is good shit. Uh, Galliano is definitely made to be mixed with stuff. Even though I still enjoy drinking it straight, right out of the tall ass a lot of shit for buying the Galliano, but I don't know, Luffy. I oh, think man. you're missing out, sir. We might have to make him one of these. We'll we'll see. Yeah. It's fucking good. Alright, uh, hey guys, please subscribe, like, share if you enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been the Colt Mulika Show! Thank you for watching. Do it even if you didn't like it. Motherfuckers. I mean, you have the option, why not? Why not? You only have one life to live. Why not spread joy instead of disappointment?